Hi, I'm John Storms. Today we're going to be experimenting with Pebble Pixels. Brand new thing. In order to do that, we are going to be using the Falcon F-Test. This thing is a pixel tricoder. It's wonderful. But before we get into that, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel and liking the video. That helps people find our videos. Thanks. Okay. So this is the F test. Okay, this is sold at uh, pixelcontroller.com. Uh, this is not an endorsement video aside from the fact that it just works really good. Um, but this guy is a pixel tricoder. Okay, um, basically it can be used in a lot of different situations to test a lot of different things and is super duper handy. If you're into pixels and light shows, this is going to be your friend. Okay. It has all sorts of options. This you can do DMX in, DMX out, smart receiver in, smart receiver out. Okay. And then pixel in, pixel out. And you can also power it via uh, the USB. Okay. Um, today I am going to do power it with pixel in. That just means it's going to get its 12 volts from here. And I have a power supply right here. So that straight you need to stop bumping it so in here we just have power supplies see power supplies some power distribution boards old stuff I actually keep this around just to play with stuff here in my uh, in my shop so I'm just gonna hook up an extension cable here to this just so when I every time I pick up the, the F test to show everybody at home we don't mess everything up. So we are just wiring this in line. So this is coming in from the power supply. So no data at all comes in here, just 12 volts. That's it. And then on the other side, let's shut this. On the other side of the F test, I'm going to run another extension cable from here to my pebble lights. Or, uh, yeah, pebble. Pebble lights, that's what they're calling them. And I use ConnectX cables for everything. All right, so I got extensions there just so I can pick the, the little box up without messing everything up, which it's already messing up. You're messing up. Stop it. Oh no. Uh, oh, come on. See? Ugh. This is why I can't have fun things. Okay. And it's upside down. All right, F test. So we're gonna power on the power strip, which powers on that, which powers this on. It just has the simple little white display is booting up Falcon. All right, and so it says pixel in. And I, I got these little buttons here, you see, if I go, you see there's four buttons. And so I can go up, down. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go down. This is pixel out. See, and boom, it's doing it. See that? Oh, I'm gonna have focus problems with this video too. Well, you're just gonna have to bear with me. But anyway, this is what pebble lights look like. And so right now it's doing the alternate pattern. Now I can go down and I can say RGB, RGBW. See, these test patterns sound real familiar. These are the test patterns that are built in with the Falcon. Red ramp, green ramp, blue ramp, white ramp. Okay, this is the one I want. Now, I don't know how easy it is to see, okay? But what I've done here is I have 400 pixels. Now, if I look here, this is set up for 1400. The point is it just needs to be more than what I actually have. So I have 400 pixels and it's all coming off of here. So it's being powered from the front and I'm looking at it and it's like, well, 
with my white ramp, that last string is not looking very white. In fact, it's looking downright blue. Okay. So let me see. Can I, is there full white? So here's full white. So this is my bright white and this is at 30%. Okay. So at 30%, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that's white. That's good. I'm looking at this and I'm like, that's pretty good. That's still fine. A uh, little bit of pink in some places. That third one is all the way pink. The last one's downright blue. In addition to that, picking these up, I can feel they're getting a little warm. Why is that? Well, the wire is so freaking skinny that it's carrying that current across and that current's warming it up. Now, is that dangerous levels? No, probably not. But looking at this, I can tell I'm not gonna wanna run more than 200 pixels away from a power source. Now, I could still have 400 pixels on a run like this. I would just need to inject a little bit of power right here, right? And then it would be fine, okay? So, and actually, if I were to do that, yeah, power injection T right here. So it still has the three pins in it. See that? So I gotta get rid of the, uh, the data pin which is this pin here. So we get the little thing in there, give it a better turn that way, give it a turn the other way. And just like my childhood dentist who is an ex Navy dentist, just give it a little yank and a pop. And there's your tooth kid. Okay. So now what I can do is I put this on the end like this. Come on. There we go. And then I can grab another one of these little power connections coming out of my power supply. And I drop the F test. And I pop it into here and watch. Boom. All white. See? Perfectly white. Everything's good. Okay. And let's get the F test back. It's bad luck to drop the F test. Okay. But, because the cable is heavier than the lights. The lights are light, which is actually really good. Okay. More versatile. But, the, my purpose of this experiment is I want to understand the, the properties and the characteristics of these lights. So I know I can go about 200 pixels reliably before I have a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to reconfigure this. So, disconnect that power injection T. We were just doing that for some fun. And now we're going to disconnect 200 of these because 200 is what I know to be reliable. Her gelling downstairs. I need to make sure I wasn't in trouble. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, I got 200 set up. We're still powered in through this guy. All right. We need to get some numbers. Okay, we're powering on. Come on, Falcon Christmas. All right, and so we are pixel out. And we are gonna go next. Nope, nope. Up. Next, next. All right, so the pattern that I want is I want all white. Full white. Okay, now look on here, okay? It tells me that my current is 1.5, 1.55. Okay, 1.55 is the highest number I've seen. It's definitely a spike. There it is again. So 1.55 is the highest number I see, and I'm at 30% brightness for 200 pixels. So if I want to know how much current I'm drawing per string, and I made all my strings 100, 100 pixels, 100 uh, pebbles, then it's going to be half of that. So Alexa, what's 1.55 divided by 2? 
1.55 divided by 2 is 0 0.775. 0 0.775. Alt 97.5 Austin from iHeartRadio. Alexa, stop. Sorry, I am having trouble playing the music. Yeah, that's all right. So, I can do the math myself. I, don't, I have a trust. I have trust issues with my own brain. So, uh, we don't. We always double check. Okay. So now we're gonna build a little bit more of a profile here. So let's do twenty percent, forty percent. And 50%. And honestly, I'm not going to use it outside of that those ranges. So that's really all the numbers that I need. So I say next. So 30% I'm going to go down. So 20%. Now I look at that current number. And let's see, I've seen 1.12, 1.18, 1.22, 1.23. Okay. Alexa, what's 1.22 divided by 2? 1.22 divided by 2 is 0 0.61. Now, I don't need people giving me grief for not doing math. Like I said, I don't, I'm, I'm a quality engineer and I don't trust anything, not even myself. All right, so now we are going to bump this up to 40%. You notice the, they got a little wider. So 1.6. Okay, so 1.6 is the highest. Alexa, what's 1.6 divided by 2? 1.6 divided by 2 is 0 0.8. Okay. So then let's try 50% brightness. All right, we've got a 1.63. 1.63. Ooh, interesting. 1.62. Very interesting. Alexa, what's 1.63 divided by 2? 1.63 divided by 2 is 0 0.815. Now, isn't that odd? Here you go. Alexa, stop. So at 20%, it's 0.61. And notice the gap between 20% and 30%, and then 30% and 40%. But then between 40% and 50%, it, it just barely went up at all. Right? So 50%, you're hardly using any more power, but you're getting 50%. Okay, so this is not a straight line curve right so but anyway i typically use 20 percent or 30 percent so what i can say is when i'm doing 100 pixels right or 100 pebbles that running at 30 percent i am going to draw a load of 0.775 amps for every 100 pebbles okay now you can go, usually you can get this information off the manufacturer website. I love a direct, um, a direct read. Now I'm using the, uh, the F test. Wouldn't be bad to get a clamp meter and, um, you know, measure it directly. I just don't have a clamp meter that accurately measures low DC voltages. I need to spend a couple hundred bucks to do it. But for now, this will get me close. Also, if you notice, I didn't take the average of the readings. When I'm watching the readings, I took the peak reading that I saw and, and used that one uh, to, for, uh, for it. So now I know that I can run reliably 200 pixels on a run before I need to power inject. And well, actually, it, power will run reliably for 200 pixels. Then it starts to drop off. I could have another 200 pixels and then power inject after that, and it will go fine because power goes both ways. Data only goes one way, but power goes both ways. So um, this gives me the profile information I need about these lights 
so I can start designing uh, a show around them. And the first show that they need to do is a, uh, is a test where I can lay them all out and run them for a while and make sure that they're all working and that they work for a couple of hours without burning out. So, uh, but in order to do that, I need these numbers. So anyway, that's the video for, for today. Thank you for watching.